Hello world, hello YouTube subscribers and YouTube community in general. Hello my fellow motor vloggers. This is my last video at last for the solar bear challenge. This time I'm going to be talking about something not usually known about Almaty. As you know, well, as you don't know, I don't know, Almaty used to be, you know, a typical Soviet city. But now that the Soviet Union collapsed some 25, what, 27 years ago? Yeah, 25 years ago, roughly speaking. Some of its architecture still remains. However, one feature of the Soviet architecture, namely the Soviet monuments, they were all destroyed, they were all displaced from where they used to be during the Soviet times. But there is one place in Almaty where I have noticed, I guess this is the only Soviet monument left, you know, in Almaty. And the, the new government elected in 1991, they tried to break away with the Soviet legacy and Soviet past. So uh, they destroyed, they removed all the Soviet monuments, excluding this one, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now, guess who is this monument built for? Okay, any guesses? Well, I guess all of you know who are the founding fathers of the Soviet Union were. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, to name the few. But the most, the most renowned, I guess, is Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. So this video, in this video I'm going to show you the monument of Lenin, the only remaining monument in Almaty. Okay, I am right now in the outskirts of Almaty, well not the outskirts, but let's say it's a sleeping district, it's not the business district of the city. You see how heavy traffic is? That's obvious because uh, it's the end of the day, it's the evening on fr of Friday. So people are going back from work, going home. I hope I can go there without anybody stopping me. If not, well, sometimes I can break the rules. Everyone breaks the rules in this country. Well, some rules cannot be broken. But this one particular, I decided to break it for the sake of the solar bear challenge. There you see, right? To the right of you. Do you see? The man showing the way, showing the path for the development of the communist nation, the communist society. Okay, what you see here, it writes Oktober Revolutionum Ardagerlernye. That was in Kazakh, in Russian it reads like Bartsam Oktoberskei Revolutsi. Okay, translating that into English would read like this monument is built for all the fighters of the October Revolution. All right, so obviously it's about the first world war and the first Russian Revolution. Well, the only Russian Revolution. Okay, this is the monument for Lenin. That's Frunze, one of his aides. Aides, yeah. All right, you see? Vladimir Ilyich Lenin in all his glory. What about that little monument to the right of him? That's... Um, Vinogradov, Pavel Mikhailovich, who died in 1932. Okay, so these monuments... Let me tell you a story about this monument. Um, and the reason why the local, or the, the new government of Kazakhstan, elected in 1991, didn't destroy, didn't demolish it. The reason is, um, well, there are lots of people who still live from the Soviet generation, the pensioners, right, the old generation. They opposed the destruction of this monument. Uh, it's not in the city center, so the, the government of Kazakhstan decided that 
it wouldn't be a wise thing to do, you know, to leave the Soviet monuments uh, in the city center. So that's why they probably decided to leave this one, you know, in the, in the sleeping district of the city. You see, you know, a typical Kazakh girl there? What, age of five, I guess? Right? Okay, anyway. So what do usually people do here? You see this square in front of this monument? Okay. This is the only place, the only official place in Almaty where people can hold demonstrations, pickets, protests, hunger strikes or whatever. Okay. This is the this is a characteristic of the Kazakhstani, you know, civil rights or freedom of civil rights. Unfortunately, you can't hold protests anywhere apart from this place. All right, so that's it. This is a very um, unknown or let's say the lesser known place of Almaty that not many tourists know of. All right, so let me now do my solar bear chanting. This is going to be the last one for this year. Можно попросить тебя? Можешь со мной вокруг мотоцикла пройтись и сказать solar bear? Да, пойдемте. Прикол такой. Okay, so this gentleman decided to uh, to part with me. He was playing football. Ну что, готов? Окей, давай. Повторяй за мной. Соло Б. Соло Б. Соло Б. Соло Б. Отлично. Соло Б. Еще раз. Соло Б. Соло Б. Соло Б. Соло Б. И последний круг. Соло Б. Соло Б. Соло Б. Соло Б. И Соло Б. Спасибо. Cute. All right. Well. Thanks for watching guys. I hope I hope to see you next year. I really enjoyed this uh, challenge this year and uh, I'm looking forward to 